Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Misty and I'm a full-time vintage reseller here on YouTube and eBay. And I'm going to show you just this haul video. It's just a simple haul video. There's not a shop with me a part of it. And I'm sorry, I know a lot of you like the shop with me's, but on this particular day, I just didn't want to film. So I just went in there and I found some cool things. I'm going to show them to you now. All of the things I'm going to be showing you is available for purchase. You can send me an email, thriftyourjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com, and I will let you know if any of these items are still available or if I am saving them for an upcoming live sale. I do have live sales every Tuesdays and Wednesdays on my YouTube channel. Let's go ahead and let's get into what we have got going on here. The first thing I'm going to show you is a baby. Say hello. Hello, friends. Now, she is a precious little sleeping, no, slumber baby, the music moving doll. She's got her little purple tag that says that. Now, she does not, well, she no longer moves nor plays music. You can feel her music box in here, and you can see she's got a stick that comes out of her back. Where's your stick at, girl? There it is. And I think it used to have a little thing that you would twist and it would play music. And I don't know if, I don't know how she moved, but um, she no longer moves, but I just liked her. She's kind of fun, right? She could be put with like all your teddy bear displays and things like that. So I got her. I liked her. I think other people will like her too. All right, I did get a couple pillows too. Oh my gosh, I love this. This is like a little crazy quilt not a poodle, a terrier. He's got a little vintage button eye on both sides. He's a little shaped pillow. Isn't he cute? How cute would he be on a porch swing? Oh, I just love him. And then this pillow. I love this too. It's a little puppy and kitty cat on this vintage fabric made into a pillow. How fun, right? It's very clean and very nice. I love that. And then the other textiles or linens that I got, this is a pretty adorable, it's a little duck. Just a little duck on his boat. He's a little sailor duck. Look at how cute he is. He's catching some fish. It's got this really pretty pink crocheted um, edging on it, little needlepoint doily. And then I got a tablecloth. Um, I don't know the size of this tablecloth right off the bat, but I liked it because of the color scheme on it. It's blues. And so, you know, in these vintage, you see a lot of pinks and reds and yellows, but not a lot of blue. So I like these kind of mod fun flowers on it. This is a, like a rectangle, a few tea stains there on it, but no holes in it. All right. So that was the last little bit of linens that I had picked up that day. All right. I did pick up some paper goods though. Oh my gosh, these are so much fun. This is, was a pack of vintage gift wrap. And I'm going to show you them because they, they just, they warrant being shown because they're really cool. So there is this one with these little pixies or kind of brownies, I guess you would say. Brownies, not like the Girl Scout brownies, but like the little, the little sprites or brownies in the traditional sense, I guess. But look at how cute. So there's a sheet of that. And then there is, this is American Greetings. This one has a couple different designs in it. This one has been opened before, but oh my goodness. Look at how fun. Look at the little sprites there sitting on their mushrooms and the bright colors on that one. Oh my gosh, these are fun. Fun, fun, fun. And then we have a little cupies. This was also American Greetings. And then we have this little flower girl here. And then we have Happy Birthday. These look like girls from all over the world. Very, it's a small world. Actually, there's two of those. And then we have some wedding paper, vintage wedding paper with the cards. And then a men's trains. It says many happy or happy birthday and many happy returns. This was birthday masculine. 
So only boys can like trains. So I don't know. I just thought those were really cool. Oh, you know what else? Look at the original sticker, the original tag, Airway. Do y'all remember Airway? My mother and my father-in-law met in Airway. They did. All right, and then I got this cute little, other you bridge? Euchre. It's a Euchre set. Play Euchre, the fun game. I have no idea how to play Euchre. It's, I just, I don't, it's a conceptual game that I just, I can't figure out. My brain just doesn't work that way. But it is the entire pack of cards here, the little girl, never been opened. And then it has these little scorekeepers right here. Um, sealed in the box, never, ever opened. So I picked that up as well. I thought that was just, it was just a fun little, little thing. All right. I think that's all like the paperish goods. Everything else I'm going to show you is breakable. Ceramics, fun, fun things like this. Chihuahua. I think this is a Chihuahua. Or do you, do you think this is a cat or do you think that this is a Chihuahua? What do you think? There's his little face. He's got the jeweled collar on. I'm kind of leaning towards Chihuahua. But I got this little guy. Got him. And, and I got this little dog. I got several dogs. I got this really pretty Celadon Green. I think that this is like a Cocker Spaniel sitting in front of his little basket. Now, the cold paint um, is actually still pretty good on his eyes. But he's so, why are you so sad? Oh, oh, he's so sad. He's so frowny. Um, but the Celadon Green is great. This is an American pottery piece. Uh, dogs. I got these are cute little home coat dogs of a little, what well, I think are they're either Yorkies, maybe little schnauzers, but they're gray. I'm, I'm leaning towards that they're Yorkies though, but look at them. There probably were three in a set of these. Usually Homeco did do these little critters in sets of threes. It's got the original Homeco sticker there on the bottom. I only have two of them, but oh, I just thought they were cute. They're little red bows. And then, did I get any other dogs? No, no other dogs, but I got a bunny. Here's a bunny, and she is skipping rope. I want to say that she, I don't know that she is a Pendlefin, which is a British company. She doesn't have any markings on her, but she's very, very reminiscent of a Pendlefin, uh, not a mug, bunny. Not quite sure, but she sure does look at it. Look at her little flower on her dress, and she's jumping rope. Cute. And did I get any other bunnies? No other bunnies. I got an elephant, a little sugared elephant. It looks like it's doing a little trick in the circus. Look at his little yellow tusk. He's got like a little definition in his ear, even. I thought that was like a string or something. But he's sugared, which is what I call this like texture on him. He is made in Japan. I got a couple cat things. The first thing I got was this. I think that, well, this is an ashtray. It is redware. It's an art mark uh, ashtray with these little Siamese cats. Look at the mama Siamese cat and all of her little kittens. Isn't that the, the oddest thing to have on an ashtray? Cats. But it has this kind of like a drip glaze to it in blue. And then it has your little rests here for your cigarettes. Or you could do it, you could put your paintbrushes here. I know a lot of people say that you can use your paint brushes, um, your ashtrays as like a paintbrush and water vessel. But no chips or cracks on it. But I thought this was just weird and just cool. But look at the faces. You know what? It's supposed there. I think that they're supposed to have chains on because a couple of these little kitty cats here have little the little uh, loops. Actually, so does the mama. I didn't even notice that. But we don't need them chained. They're free. They are free to do and move about as they will. Except they really can't because they are attached to this dish. But anyway, a cat. A cat ashtray. Siamese cat ashtray. And then I got these cats too. I want to say that these could be like little ring holders possibly. 
They're not salt and pepper shakers. They're just little figures, but they do have cute little faces. They, they look a little sad too. Look, how come everything is looking so sad today? Aww. Don't worry, fellas. We'll find you a good home. And you're going to be together because you're brothers. So I will sell these together as a set. The little, little ceramic cats. Is that all the cats that I got? I believe so. Well, let's, we're going to move on from cats to birds. I got this little, uh, this little kind of very light blue, little nuggy of a bird. Look at him. Oh, he's so, you can see the blue there in his belly. He doesn't have any markings. Kind of resembles a Viking glass bird to me. So he could possibly be Viking. I'm not quite sure. So I can't really say for sure, but he doesn't have any chips or flaws on him. Just a little glass bird there. And then I got this little planter with a, what I think is a pheasant. This one is made in Japan. And a little pheasant, perfect for a little air plant in there. Just a sweet little size that looks nice in on a, on a shelf. So I got that little pheasant guy. And then, oh my gosh, I got this bird. Now I don't know, I don't quite know what kind of bird this is. Um, I want to say that it resembles a swan, but it's pink and it doesn't have any legs. So we can't, we don't know if you're a flamingo, but I do believe that it is, well, it is made in California because you know what? It says that it's made in California. I haven't done any research on this planter yet. So I don't know if it had any other, any other components. I'm kind of thinking that it might be some sort of a console set, but I don't know. But my word, he's just magical. But the shape of its, it just reminds me of a swan, but doesn't have big swan feathers. So I don't know. I kind of think that maybe he was supposed to be in a pond of some sort. And I do have a pond, a white pond. So made in California. Don't know by who. I will do a little bit of research. When I first picked them up, I thought they might be Royal Copley. Uh, but we will see. I'll do a little bit more research on him and we'll see what we can find for Big Pink Bird. Big Pink Bird. All right, that's all of the birds that I got. Now we're going to move on to humans. Humans. Well, kind of. Humans and human-esque things. So I've got this little... Now listen. I hate clowns. That's an established fact. I do not like them. They just... they're. And I know a lot of people do like clowns. I just don't. And that's okay. Because you can like clowns and that's okay. You could not like clowns and that's okay too. I just I just don't like them. They I had a frightening experience as a child and it's just stuck with me. I just don't like them. You know, and but I, I occasionally will buy a clown because well, because it's cute. I know. I said that the clown this clown is cute. Um, I just like that he's just like, oh, I've got this big egg and I'm going to show you my big egg. So it's kind of like he's holding a little Jeff Jeff egg. But he's so proud. Look at those cheeks. Uh, so he's a, he's a clown. He's a little miniature clown. But I love that he's got this big egg. Like, look at my egg. So you can put a little eggplant, a little eggplant, an air plant in this egg. It is made in Japan focus. There we go. I don't, I just thought he was cute. So he's human. He's a human baby. And then another human baby. I love this. I love this so much for New Year's. You know, we don't have a lot of New Year's decor, you know, because we still have all of our Christmas stuff up. But look, that wouldn't this be cute for a New Year's little guy to set out? A little naky baby? He's got his New Year's top hat on. But he's a planter. But he's a little cute because he's got wings. You see, he has a little wing here and a little wing here. And he's naked. He's a New Year's baby. He's got his, oh, he's so cute. He does, he seems Lefton-esque. 
to me, but I don't know. I, I, I don't quite know, but I think that this is adorable. I saw it and I had to have him. He does have a few little flea bites around the rim of in the top of his hat. You can see right there. But my word, I, I say this, it seems like I'm buying a lot more baby planters, even though I said I don't really buy them, and I, and I don't. But sometimes things break the exception, and this is definitely one of them. I think that it's precious. Could be just, you know, you could give it to somebody if they have a, they've had a new baby. Or for a New Year's party, you could put pretzels rods in here or spoons in here. It's just adorable. Adorable. Now, the other two things I'm going to show you are human-like. And one of those, I couldn't resist this little guy. And he's just a little blue prixie. He's made in Japan. It has a little sticker on the back. But just look at that face. He's just adorable. He's got his little blue suit on with his little pixie shoes. On the back there, you can see the sticker that's made in Japan. Now, the face on him is not glazed, which is different. Um, but the rest of it, his hands and his face, other than his eyes and his mouth and his nose, are not glazed. They are unglazed. So I just thought that he was very cute. So I got, and he's got red hair. He was just a different kind of prixie. He's a prixie that you can leave out all year round. He's a year round prixie. He's not necessarily dedicated or clothed as a specific holiday. And then the other one, now you are a little leprechaun prixie. This is a little mug here that's perfect for St. Patrick's Day. This is made by Lefton. And it doesn't have any chips or cracks on it. And I just think that it's adorable. And it's very, very hard to find vintage St. Patrick's Day things. I may be keeping this. I'm not quite sure yet. We will see. But if anything, I'm going to put him back for a St. Patrick's Day sale that I will have this spring. But very, very cute little uh, St. Patrick's Day, left in St. Patrick's Day mug or planter or vase. I, you, know, you could use it for whatever. I think that's all of the critter, humans, critters, those sorts of things that I got. Everything else is, well, it's just, it's just nice. It's planters. That's just a mixture. Oh, you know what? Let's go back. I left out a bird. I left out this bird, this pheasant. So I have the small pheasant planter, and then I have this bigger one. Very mid-century modern looking. I like the muted earth tone colors on it. It is made in Japan. It's very thin. So you can, you know, that's typically the hallmark of a Japan piece. This is made in America. You can see how chunkier this one is. This one's made in Japan. That's one way that you can tell just by feeling if it doesn't say the weight of it. It's very lightweight. So it's a nice masculine looking planter. So this will be a great planter to give to someone who might be a hunter for Father's Day. Great condition there on that planter. Okay, now I'm gonna move on to a girly planter. And that is this one. This is a beautiful weeping gold and vintage pink little vase. <laughs> little like stubby, short, squatty vase. Um, they do have these in bigger sizes as well, but I really like the shape and the size of this. It's kind of squared and it's rounded off and it's got the gold and that weeping gold that kind of looks like it's been wet and it's like a drinking glass that has sat around for a little while and they start, it starts to sweat. That's what that kind of reminds me of. But just a fun little mid-century modern piece. Now there is felt on the bottom of this which I sometimes like to peel off if you can get it off without damaging it. If you can tell that it was actually put on there by someone else. And this is on there really, really well. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get, get it off. So I did get this. All right. Are there any other planters? Yes. This is a very mid-century modern looking piece. It's just a little yellow planter. I like the shape of it. It's very, um, it, it has a lot of motion to it. And I love the bottom of it. Kind of looks like an upside down crown. No, you could probably wear that like a little crown on your head a little bit. How's that look? Uh, anyway, very clean. There's no chips or cracks or flaws on it. This is also an American made piece, I can tell. It has a number stamped on the bottom. Actually, I think it says USA on the bottom. Yeah, it does. 
This could possibly be McCoy, actually. Don't quite know, but it could be, but it's definitely an American-made planter. Really fun shape on that one. All right, and then I got this bowl. Um, this is Lane and Company, which is made in California. It's dated 1954, and it's kind of this string art. Well, it is string art. It's a string art bowl. You can see that, and it's like a, it's a minty lime green. Minty lime, that's two totally different colors. We're gonna, we're gonna lean more towards it being a lime green. Lime green. This is more minty green, and this is more lime green. It looks a little yellow, but it's, it's lime green. There is a little chip right here. I couldn't pass it up though. It's just an iconic string art piece. I love the shape of it. I love that it's a piece of California pottery. It says Lane and Co. LA California 1954. So love that. So I did get that. And then I got this piece of art glass, which is an unusual color. It kind of looks like an ear. Huh? What? Huh? I can't hear you. Does it look like an ear? It's like flesh colored does not glow. I've tried. It does not glow, but it's very kidney, kidney bean shaped. It has a sanded down pontilla mark, but it looks like an ear. So if you want to give this as a gift to an audiologist, that would be a great gift to give to them. But I don't know. I just, I like the organic shape of it. It's just, it just is a different colorway. It's very neutral. So I did pick that up. The ear, the ear dish. All right. I also got these. Now, I have sold pieces like this before, and I've, I've had them in baskets. What else? And, and Christmas trees. I've had them in baskets and Christmas trees. And that is the safety pin art with these beads. Now, they have what they've done is they've taken this uh, glass votive, and then they've built... Oh, there's a piece of tape on the inside. They've built their craft with the safety pins and the beads all the way around it. And I tell you what, you put a candle in here and it does look really pretty good. It really does. It's just a crafted piece, but I don't know. I like them. I see them and I buy them. I just, I think that they're kind of cool. All right. I also got a piece of imperial glass. Um, this is a purple little squatty vessel. You can see the lines in it. Isn't that pretty? It does have the original Imperial tag on it. It's made in the USA. On the bottom, it now this was, the good thing about this is it makes it easier to find. This was purchased from Imperial, the factory itself or the shop itself. Um, and it says that it's a five inch MFI vase in plum. So that's nice that it has all that information on it. The original tag. Now this little sticker is coming off just a little bit, so I am going to try to re put some uh, another little piece of adhesive on there to get that to stay down because I don't want that label to fall off. But there aren't any rough spots on the rim. A beautiful piece of American Imperial glass in this lovely purple color, which is a pretty popular color right now. All right, I also got this. Oh, I love this so much. Honestly, I'm taking the tape off of the lid. This might be about the favorite thing that I bought on this trip. Look at the little mini canister. Oh, oh, it still has a piece of tape on the inside. Let's get that tape off because you need your time to shine because you are just so cute. Look at this. It's so cute. I mean, it's got its little lid. A little mini canister but wouldn't this be cute with like little q-tips in it would q-tips fit in you i think you might be too little for q-tips m ms oh my gosh They're, the possibilities are endless but it has this beautiful little transfer flower or tulips is what i meant to say on there i love that it's got this lid it's so cute i love this i don't think i'm going to keep it though i don't know i'm still thinking about it I also picked up these mugs. Now, these are Fire King. They're the stackable mugs. Unfortunately, there's only two of them. I wish that there were four, but there's not. There's two of them. We've got the yellow. No, we've got the yellow and the red flower. They do stack. 
They are made by Fire King, Anchor Hawking Fire King. So I got those as well. And I also got this. This is a green glass. Now it's not flash painted, it is actual green glass. When I say flash painted, that means it's an actual, it would be a, a, a clear piece of glass that they've sprayed. And, and then the, the paint will come off, it will wear off. And so you'll see clear glass, little specks. Um, this is actual green glass and this is a water jug. Now I really like these. I think that these look wonderful. Could you imagine some pink flowers in here? Now this doesn't have the little aluminum lid on it that it would have originally had, but I think that this makes a great vessel for flowers. Isn't that cool? With the green glass, you can instantly turn it into a really nice vase. With, with I love the sunflowers because I love sunflowers with just about anything, but a really cool bo old bottle that you can turn into a vase. I love that. I may end up keeping that. I don't know yet because I'm really, I'm like really digging it right now. So we, we'll see. All right. And I think, let me just scan through here to make sure, but yeah. I think everything else that I got is uranium glass. The first thing I'm going to show you, I, I did get two different sets of these uranium glass juice glasses. There is this set here with the lines. They do glow, they both glow. So I got a set of two of those and then another set of two with this crisscross design. They also, ooh, those glow really well. Uh, so these are nice. Now you can use your uranium glass and please do. It isn't going to hurt you. You're not going to die of radium poisoning. You just won't. It, it's not, it doesn't have that much in it that's going to harm you. But wow, those really do. Those glow really good. So use them. That's what they were made for. All right. And then I also got this pedestal. Now this I looked at. Every time I went in there, I looked at it and I thought, mm, I don't want to buy it because I paid up for it a little bit. But this is what I would consider Vaseline glass. It kind of has a yellow hue to it. You know, this is green and that's more yellow. And you can see it glows very nicely as well. They, oh, yeah, very nicely as well. It does have, I guess this will be like a compote, but it does have a swirly design here at the bottom. But this will be a nice piece that you could actually put a candle in it and, and just use it as a really pr pretty centerpiece for a table with a candle in it. Or you could put some Christmas bulbs in it. There's all kinds of different things that you could do with it. But it is a shallow, more of a shallow bowl, but it does glow a lot. So that was a nice piece there. And then the other two pieces I got, um, this is just yellow uranium glass so this piece isn't a terrible this is like country store usa is what it says on the bottom of this little votive holder but it has these really pretty daisies and flowers on it but it does have radium in it it does glow it glows glows like the dickens it does uh but oh yeah looky there you can kind of see can you see the pattern in there now so i've got that little votive there and then I, the last piece I'm going to show you is a hand-painted piece by Fenton. It was hand-painted by Francis Burton, and it's just this little rose bowl. It's very an ombre. It has like the, the peach or the, you know, like the rose color on top with the hand-painted roses all along the sides. It also glows very nicely as well. On the bottom, it's marked Fenton, and it has the oval around the Fenton, and then it says it's hand-painted by Francis Burton. Francis, you did an excellent job. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. All right, and that's it. I mean, that was a lot of stuff from Riverside Arts, Antiques, Decor, and more. One of my very favorite places to go. I love going in there. If you are ever in the Bedford, Indiana area, make sure that you go in and check them out. Go in there and support a small business. And all of the vendors that are set up in there are also small business owners. So check out the antique malls and show some local business a little bit of love. 
and you can find things in there for resale absolutely and you're supporting your you're supporting a small business so it's a win-win situation all or all the way around so thank you so much for watching this haul video if you're interested in anything you can send me an email thrifter junker vintage hunter at gmail.com make sure that you're subscribed to my channel so you and hit the bell notification so that you'll be notified every time i do go live with one of my live sales and with that i'm going to go ahead and say bye guys <laughs> Thank you.